first let us build an effect class. We are going with the developer console. Now we are trying to create an effects class here. If you are practicing or opening. We have an FX class, let us say first one, FX example one. Now, if you want any FX class to be used in the VF page, if you want any FX class to be used in the VF page, that FX class has to be a public or a global. If you want any FX class to be used in the, if you want any FX class to be used in the VF page, that FX class has to be a public or a global. Now we are going with file. Look at this. How do you refer to FX class in the VF page? If you want to refer to S object, what we have done? Standard controller equal to the S object. Similarly, if you want to refer to an FX class in the VF page, if you want to refer to an FX class in the VF page, you have to define controller. Controller equal to control equal to FX example one. Control equal to FX example one. If you want any FX class to be used in the VF page, if you want any FX class to be used in the VF page, we have to define that FX class as a controller. Right. We have got it. Fine. The class has to be what? Either a public or a global. Now, if you are trying to use any FX class within the VF page, that FX class may or may not have a constructor. That FX class may or may not have a constructor. In case if there is any constructor, it should not have any parameters in it. If you want to call any FX class within the VF page, that FX class, that FX class may or may not have a constructor. And if you are defining a constructor, if you are defining a constructor, it should have no parameters in it. Suppose I have not given any constructor. If you are not given any constructor, then system will create a dummy constructor. If you don't create any constructor, system will create a dummy constructor. So what is the dummy constructor? It will be like this. This is the dummy constructor what system will create. No, if I am creating any constructor in the class, thank you. If I am creating any constructor in the class, then the system will not create any dummy constructor. But if you want to use FX class within the Visual Force page, if you want to use FX class in the Visual Force page, it should have constructor without parameters or no constructor. You don't define any constructor, it's okay. But if you define any constructor, there should be a constructor without any parameters. If you don't define any constructor without parameters and try to use that class within the VF page, it will throw error message. Let us see. What was it? Unknown constructor. What it is expecting? It is expecting constructor without parameters. But you define constructor with a parameter. Because if you are trying to use, if you are trying to use FX class within the Visual Force page, that Visual Force page is expecting a constructor without parameters. You can have multiple constructor, but they should be constructed without parameters. Otherwise, it will throw error message. What I was doing here. So then I was supposed to go without. So next. You want to use any variable. 
If you want to use any variable, it has to be public or group. Any data members of the class, 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 which you want to use within the VF page, any data members of the class, which you want to use in the VF page, they have to be with the public, they should be a public or a global. If you want to use any data members in the VF page, they has to be what? Public or global. First point. Second one. Every variable should have set and get. Any variable that you are trying to use within the VF page, that variable should have getter and setter methods. That variable should have getter and setter methods. So I am giving a public string name Lower bracket, set a semicolon. I will explain what it is. Public string. Any variable you are trying to access. Any variable which you are trying to access. Any variable that you are trying to access in the VM page, they should have set and get methods. They should have what? Set and get methods. Any variable that you are trying to access within the VF page, that variable should have set and get. That variable should have set and get. So what was that? This okay. Now let us go back to the P. We want to print any data that you want to refer from the VF, okay, FX class. Any data that you want to refer from the FX class, the data should have formula expression. What was that? Name and branch. You are getting it. Name equal to Sadish Mela. Branch equal to Sadish Mela. So what does it mean? Where are these values assigned? Within the constructor. So when the page is loading, automatically constructor is running. If constructor is not running, the values will not be assigned. So whenever you are loading a VF page, whenever you are loading a VF page, at the back end, the constructor is running first. After the constructor is executed, the values in the page are printed. Boss, when you invoke any visual force page, when you invoke any visual force page, when you invoke any visual force page, it is going to run the constructor of the class first, then it is going to load the data in the page. So first run the constructor, then the load the page. Are you clear about the format? So, if you want to use any data of the FX class in the VF page, you are supposed to go with a set and get. What is this set and get? Let me give. Now, we have a page. We give name. We have a class. Public class example. Now, I enter the name. The name what I entered here, the name what I entered here, the name what I entered here, this name should be saved to whatever the value I am entering in the page, the value what I am entering in the page, I want to save this value to a variable. The value what I am entering in the page, the value should be saved to a variable. So what is the variable? So I am giving 
error. Now, taking the data from the VF page, saving the value to a variable is called set method. Set method. What is the purpose of set method? Take the data from the VF, save the value to a variable. So, what is the purpose of set method? Reading the value of the elements from the VF page, saving those values to the variable of FX class is called setter method. It's called setter method. Now, the value, what is available in the page? Now, here we have the value what is available in the class. If you want to take that value, display that value in the VF page. It is called Getter. Getter means what? Get the value from the variable, save that value to a visual course page. Getting the value from an FX class, saving the value to a variable is called getter. Getting the value from a variable, giving the value to a VF is called getter. Setter is what? Taking the data from VF, saving them in FX class, which is called setter. Getter means taking the value from FX class, giving the value to VF. Which is called getter. Now suppose if I say name. When you are using a variable called name, internally what is it? Get name. If I am using salary, internally what it is calling? Suppose if I am entering any data, internally is what? Set. Are you getting my point here? So, setter and getter is used to read the data and put the data to the effects. So, what was that called? Setter methods and getter methods. I hope you are clear. So, what is the purpose of setter method? This will read the data from which class? So, Page. Save the value to so example. We have a name. We have a name called string name. Then we have public void. Internally, this is the meaning. When it is setter, internally it is going to be like this. Internally, this is This dot is equal to h. This is how it is. So this is what setter method. What is the purpose of getter method now? Now setter is complete. Getter. Getter method. What is the getter method? This method will be used. Mother will be used to read the data from the class and display so it's a getter.
complete. Is it? Instead of writing all these getter and setter, simply what we are doing? Set the semicolon, get semicolon, system will take care. System will take care. I hope you are clear. Instead of giving a setter and getter, simply write set the semicolon, get semicolon, system will take care. Now what was this VF page? The VF page. What is the purpose of controller? If you want to refer to any apex class in the VF page. If you want to refer to any apex class in the VF page, this will then we define the apex class. Apex class as we define the apex class as no. Apex class should be a public. Or then next. FX class should have no constructor or constructor with. It. Zero points. Next point. When we load, when the real page, put it first. Constructor will run. Then the page. This is how we have given the basic structure of referring to the apex class within the VF page. Everyone has got this point. Am I clear with this? Clear for everyone? Okay. Let us do one example. Let us do one example. So, create an apex class student. Create an apex class student with a name. With a name. P four exchange the values using constructor. Display the values in the VF page. Create a class student with the name P four number as data members. And assign the values using constructor and print the values in the VF page. Create a class student with the name fees four as data members. Assign the values using constructor. Display the values in the VF page. Start doing this example, everyone. Let us build that. We created a student class with the data members. Set semicolon, get semicolon. Set the semicolon, get semicolon. Then I have given P public decimal P. Then you have defined a constructor.
So name, phone, fee. Name, phone, fee. We are given the data. Name, phone, fee. I'm giving it if it's example then you're trying to give name This is how we have it. So I will tell you. Red box. We are referring to the data. This is how we are referring to the data. I hope I am clear with this. Referring to the FX class within a VFX. Now, we want to invoke some methods. We want to invoke some methods. So how to define a method and how to invoke the method within the VFP. So let us look at the requirement. Let us look at the requirement. My requirement is we give VFP. A value, B value, <laughs> then I have a couple of methods here, add, multiply, reset. This is how I get. Now, I want to, when you click on the add, addition of numbers, multiplication of numbers, reset means nullify all the values. Set all the values as none. But the problem is, how many variables are required in the FX class? So, whatever the data that you are entering in this box, that should be stored to a variable. Where I am giving value equal to a value. What is this? Referring to a variable called a value. So, whatever the value I entered here, that is saved to a value. I told whatever the value that you are entering here, right? How many methods are required? I require a method. What is the method? Method is also referred with the formula expression only. How we refer? Add. What is that add? The method. Multiply. I am giving a one more method. Method is also referred as what? Formula expression only. Multiply. One more method. Reset. This is what we got. Add, multiply, reset. So what is that? Class with three variables and three methods. Class with three variables and three methods. Now we are supposed to create the three variables. With three methods. Let us start doing this. Go for the public digit public. Then I give public void. When is a public void at? Then we have public void at public void. <laughs> So 
public void. Now we have taken a value, b value, result. A value, b value, result. So I have created three variables with three methods. Three variables with the three methods. Fine. Let us do this one. How to create a visual course page? Now, listen to the format. How do you refer to the text class? Listen to the program. People are not writing the programs. Control equal to FX. Example. Now I want to create a VF page, FX form. And I was supposed to create FX form. I'm doing it. FX page block. Is in the page block section. FX page block section. Within the section item, we have Output label value equal to. Then I'm giving input text value equal to. How you refer? So whatever the value I enter in this box that is equal to. Similarly, I require one more for page block. <laughs> Value equal to value equal to the same story I have to repeat for A value, B value, and result. Now, how many columns you want? Number of columns are one. Now, I'm saying you want a button here. How do you create a button? FX, page block buttons. Then, location. You want to give it on top. Okay, top. Then, what you are supposed to give? FX, command button, value equal to add. Action equal to when you click on the button, what is the action? Now, do you want to refresh entire page? Only result is changing, right? So, why should I load entire page? I can give the command button value equal to action. <laughs> This of ID equal to what is that? Created a page with three buttons. Now this is a basic basic structure what I have given. Right. We are performing. Right boss. So I am not loading the entire page. I am not loading the entire page, I am only loading the I am only loading the page block. I am not loading the entire page, I am only loading the page block. Are you clear about this format? Basic sector. Whatever the value that we entered here, that is saved to A value, this is saved to B value. When you click on add, it is setting the C value. This one. I hope I am clear with this format. People follow it. Right? So, how do you invoke a method in the we have page? It is in the formula. We have seen previous example with page. Action equal to page. You are taking what? Action equal to add. What is the add? Add is the name of the method. Add is the name of the method. Right. When I say a value, what it is calling? 
setter mother of a value, getter mother of a value. I hope I'm clear. Clear for everyone? Let us do one or two basic examples. Everyone followed? Right. Let us do a couple of basic examples. Now, let me give you. Anyone has any queries on that? Everyone is comfortable with this code? Right? We have done a couple of examples on page block, page block section, page block section item. Why did you take page block section item? Why did you take page block section item? Because two elements, label and input text. I have a label, I have input text. Two elements are there in a single column. So I was supposed to go with the page block section item. Right. So let us build this example. My example is set. Calculate and reach. So when I enter the amount, so you know the rate of this formula, right? I'll also write the formula. <coughs> Now you are supposed to, I am going to enter the amount, years and rate, you are supposed to calculate the interest and penalty. I will give amount, years, rate, you are supposed to print interest value. When you click on reset, everything should be deleted. When you click on reset, everything should be deleted. When you click on reset, everything should be deleted. Start implementing this. Then I was supposed to create public. To be always set to followed by get. Set to followed by get. Public this month. Public void, public void calculate. So I have created this calculation of interest. Then I have the second method which is called reset. I am resetting the data. Public void <laughs> there. 
what I'm doing here. Apex example. Then we are giving apex for the same story, right? It was that apex page block test calculator. Apex page block runs buttons location equal to top because I'm printing the buttons only on the top. And I have fx command button not equal to you render page block now fx command button. Render. I have apex B block section item. Apex command button. Apex B block section. B block section item. Value equal to value equal to demo. Then we have next. Yes. Then we have it. Amount yes rate. Then finally we have it. Right. This is how we have created. Basic structure I created. Calculate, reset, amount, years, rate, interest. Right? So basic FX class, which has a couple of variables, two methods, which we are giving. One method will calculate, other method will reset. How we are trying to use the data? We got here page block buttons, command button. Then we add page block section, page block section item. Output label, input text. Page box X item, output label, input text. We had a couple of elements here. We will go for a preview. This is the structure what we received. I am trying to create. Then, what was that? I have not given ID. Now, why is refreshing? I told you, refresh only. PV, but I am not giving the PV. Okay, no issue. You are the corresponding interest or reset the value. I hope you are clear with this format. Clear? I hope you are clear. Now, here we have seen a couple of attributes in the input text where I given required equal to. Now I told required equal to. When I said required equal to, calculate. Now what was this? 
calculate it is going to throw error operation what is that record equal to so it is not giving any null or any other basically it has to be a error message if you don't give record equal to save it go back click on calculate now what are you getting here but in the previous case why you not received that record equal to you when it told if you don't enter the value don't submit the form don't submit the form you need to handle that error we are not written the program to handle the error but what is that previous case it is not submitting the form because the field is required without giving the value if you submit the form don't submit the form without giving the value if you submit the form don't submit the form i hope i am clear that one attribute which you didn't see in the input element with the only critical property but we didn't see them in output i hope i am clear with this format right so basically you understood how to refer the class from the vf page right am i clear buttons classes now we will try to understand how to navigate from one page to another page when i click on a button it has to take me to another page or we already seen giving some error message right now i want to give some error messages how to print the error messages now if the name is not entered i want to print boss name is required field if the amount is not entered boss amount is required field so how to generate that errors how to generate that errors so we will try to understand understanding the printing of error messages and page references let us look at the next example first we will start with error messages validation trying to apply custom validation first understand the first one we have fx pages dot so or else we can say message is the class it is a predefined fx class who has created this fx class salesforce has already created this fx class second this fx class is defined this fx class is defined in the namespace of fx fields this fx class is defined in the namespace of fx fields next this is used to print messages from the so validation errors when you say messages it is going to have a couple of things syntax apex is dot cs type of message and error the type there is a different type of message what are the different types of messages we have so let me give you the type of message can be it can be error message you can error it can be info it can be confirmation message it can be warning there are different types of messages what we have so let us see how to create this look at the format public apex messages fx page dot severity when is a severity they ask you severity is error now fx is dot 
First, we'll see what type of message can be printed. Security. Warning. What I'm doing here? FX space dot add we created a FX space. Add the message. So what was this? This is to add the messages. Effect is not add. <laughs> what are the message you created? Add the message to FX. Create the message, add them to page. Create the message and add them to page. We created a message. Message 1, message 2, message 3. What is that? First one is error, warning. Another one is info. Confirmation like that we can create multiple messages and add all these messages to page. When you say add the message to page, that message will be printed on the page. It will be printed on the page from where you call this. So we have printed. Giving it, look at the format FX page. When it's a page messages, whatever the page messages we added there, those messages are printed here. There I'm adding add message, FX pages dot add message. Whatever the messages I added on the FX page there, those will be printed here. So let us go for preview. What happened? You got here. Error warning. So, what was the other issue here? FX page dot severity info I give price. Only three messages. Any spell mistake in a way? This is in four. Right. So, what is that? So, this is the message. Now, as per your requirement, you have to decide what message you want. Now, I told MOD is not entered. Warning message, error message, M1 is a must be. Alright, age cannot be less than 20, warning boss, age cannot be less than 20. Now what is that? As per your business logic, you know, you just understand what message you want to print on the top of the page. So if you want to print any error messages, what we are using? Because the format, effect is not message. Now severity. What is severity? This is also one of the predefined enum. It contains the values.
you can say value error warning info confirm right this is how we are giving it right box see we are ready now what i am doing whatever the messages you have created you are supposed to add the message to pages we have this method is used apex pages right this is a pretty fast method in the apex pages class basically create the messages add the messages to the page now when you load the page the corresponding data will be printed what is this apex pages what was the second page to print them. all the messages added to the i hope i am clear you will not clear any query on this element any query now we can try out some examples on this what was the example create some page if m mode is not entered through error message if yes are not entered through error message red is not entered through error message i want to apply some error messages so what i can do here your previous example here i am clicking what was that if m mode equal to why i am taking null if you don't enter any value if all value is null effect page dot page Maybe it's not add. I told you, if the mode is null, no error message. Go back to the VF page. Apex page messages. Go for a preview. Apex page messages. It was emot. Deleted. There is something bug from my end. Else, else it should be correct. Try to go back and click on this calculate. Still the same. So what was the bug here, boss? Re-render exactly. So what was the issue? I have re-render because the form is not getting refreshed. There was an error, but the form is not getting refreshed. That's the reason the error is not getting not saved. Come back to this page. So look at the format. Actually, equal to reset. Re-render PB. When you re-render PB, page messages. I give apex page dot add message. message. What the message? Message is dot cld dot error is not equal to null. Well, it should be null, right? There's nothing wrong with the code. Mod equal to null. Yes, mod is null. The way it is coming to else. So let me do it vice versa. default values
ఏమన్నా కాన్బి నల్ బట్ దేశం వాల్యూ ఇస్ సపోజ్ టు బి నల్ హియర్ యూనో విల్ ఫైండ్ అవుట్ వాట్ వాస్ దిస్ బాగ్ హియర్ బేసికలీ ఐ టోల్ ఇఫ్ అమౌంట్ ఇస్ గ్రేటర్ దెన్ జీరో ఐ హావ్ టేకన్ సో ఐ హావ్ గివెన్ ఎ కండిషన్ ఆన్ నల్ ద డిఫాల్ట్ వాల్యూ ఇస్ వాట్ వాట్ ద డిఫాల్ట్ వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ అమౌంట్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బి నల్ రైట్ ఐ హావ్ టేకన్ we are getting null we are not assign the value right some of y we are getting some error okay fine basically what i told if amount is greater than 0 calculate the value otherwise print the error message so like this you can apply validation rules custom validation rules and print your own messages by using what fx ps dot message fx ps dot message i hope i'm clear right. that's all from my end for today continue in the next session